What's up guys? Today we are taking a look at the Sony XB10 wireless speaker with extra bass. Boom, extra bass. Uh, so I was looking for a wireless speaker, something small, um, compact, that sounded good. Uh, something fairly water resistant, uh, but I don't need it to float, I don't need it to be submergible, I'm not going to dunk it in water. This is um, IPX rated 5, which is like splash resistant. Um, you could most likely take it in the shower with you if you wanted to. I wouldn't completely dunk it in the water. If it's completely submerged, I would probably like you know pull it out real quick if it falls in the pool or whatever. Uh, don't. It's not for that. So wouldn't be having it too close to the edge. But 16-hour um, battery life, small and compact, um, and it's red. I, anything red, I'll buy. So pop this bad boy open. Inside, got our speaker, charging cable, USB to micro USB, and instructions. So this comes in a variety of different colors, green, blue, black, yellow, and red, I do believe, which normally you only get black or white when it comes to speakers, so I'm like, Awesome. I'm going to give me a red speaker. Sony calls this red. I don't know if you can see it, if the glare from the light. Um, this is as orange as a pumpkin. They don't make an orange speaker. They make red. But I did notice on the box it actually says red orange is the color. But on their website and online, um, on Amazon, it just says red. So I'm a little disappointed. If that were the case, I, I would have got black. So the first weird little thing about this is it's got this little tag on it, a little rubber piece. The speaker itself, it's very compact. Uh, 16 hour battery life, it actually didn't take very long to charge. Um, I had it on charge for maybe an hour, maybe, at the max. And I've probably used it for about four or five hours. Um, I didn't even check to see if it was fully charged. I just wanted to, to give it a go. So the design of it, um, I like the size. It's coated with a very, very soft rubber and the bottom, it's actually a little grippier rubber. And you can see where the speaker's going to kick through the air ventilation right through here. Um, on the back of the speaker, we've got our panel here that pops out to make sure it stays water resistant. We have our auxiliary and the charging port, which again is micro USB. Seals up nice and tight. Um, we've got our charge light, play and pause button up here, and then the mic's right below it. We've got an add button with a left and a right. So if you have two of these speakers, you can connect them to the same device and do stereo sound. Um, you click the add button, it finds the other speaker, and then you select which one goes left, which one goes right. So you can set them on either side of your desk, your computer, whatever. Put the volume up and down, and these buttons, again, are super easy to hit. Um, they press very easily. And we've got the power button and the Bluetooth pairing over here. So we are going to power this thing on and check out the sound of it. So I definitely, I want to play some music on here, but I'll have to play like some standard kind of YouTube music that I actually have license for. Um, what I tested this with, I actually tested the sound. I tested the bass. I played, um, I, we play a lot of Beastie Boys in this household. My four year old is a huge Beastie Boys fan. So um, we played some License to Ill. We played a little bit of Ill Communication and um, Hello Nasty. So we were listening to uh, Intergalactic, Bass thumb's pretty good in that. Um, I also tested it down here with uh, Run the Jewels, which is very, very heavy bass. The bass on it sounds really good. Um, one of the problems, and you may see it in the video, but when it's sitting like this, so it kind of sets up to fill the room with music, it's going to reverberate off of the table, your desk, whatever. So that's where actually this thing comes in. Um, Sony, maybe realized hey you know this design it might be a design flaw so let's just give them this little notch thing so it's not actually filling the room it's just a normal speaker with you know a straightforward um, stream of sound but um, it does help kind of fill that bass sound a little bit more and it doesn't have that knocking sound 
or a vibration. But I did notice if it's on a slick surface that uh, something like Run the Jewels, which is very, very bassy, it tends to slide. And it actually kind of started, I watched it for a song and a half and it just slowly slid in a circle. Like it stayed in place, but it just kind of rotated. Can be a problem if you've got it on a slick surface. Uh, I also tested it with some, some hardcore and some metal. I played, you know, some go-tos like Slayer. I played some, some really heavy stuff like Ilsa. Played some Converge to see high pitches. Um, everything sounded really good. My only concern is it says it's got extra bass and Sony is known to put extra bass in like everything. Um, if it gets turned up too loud, even when it's on its little stand here, it does seem to sound a little off if you turn it up too loud. We're going to go to Epide Epidemic Sounds website, and since I have a license there, and we're going to play some, uh, not necessarily royalty-free music, but music that I can use. Um, so we'll play a couple of different genres, just samples of it, so you can get a, a sense of what the music, the speaker sounds like. But I think you'll be pleasantly surprised for the price range of, I think it retails, SRP is like 60 bucks. I have not seen the $60 anywhere. I looked at multiple outlets. Um, Amazon is $38. So let's give it a listen. So you can kind of hear the bass hit, and it's sort of echoing through the table there a little bit. If we turn it up a little louder, you can definitely hear what I'm talking about. But if we have it sitting on the little notch that it comes with, it's a little more subtle. And then again, if we try it with uh, some metal. And then just so we can try something with some vocal. Alright, so final thoughts on the XP10 from Sony. Um, I think it's a pretty great little speaker. 40 bucks is probably what you'll pay for it. I don't think it's a bad buy. You could definitely get better. Um, with some Bose or eh, JBL is kind of up in the air these days. Um, I sell JBL. I could have easily bought JBL at cost and decided to go with this and give it a shot. I think I'll keep this. Music sounds pretty good on it. Um, I'm If I really end up liking it, I may get a second one just to do stereo and hook them up to my iMac. Um, just do Apple Music that way. Haven't water tested it, so maybe I'll do that. Um, fill you in later on how that works. I don't really plan on doing that at the moment. It's a nice little speaker. I do find it to be kind of a design flaw and inconvenience, I guess, to where you, if you want to listen to it loudly, or if you're listening to something bassy or hip hop, whatever, um, and you're wanting to set it down, you're going to kind of get that reverb. I mean, I guess Sony thought it through with this little thing, but Again, at the same time, I wish it would just stand like a normal speaker. $40 compared to $200, $300, even $100. Bucks. I dig it. It's pretty good. Um, I'll put a link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, until the next time, I'm going to keep playing with this, rocking out with it, put it to good use. And I'll see you in the next video.